Hello and welcome. This is Not So Live and this is Double R. This is episode 14 and as you can see today I'll be speaking about the good film Goodfellas. So the film was released in the 19th of September 1990. The director was Martin Scorsese. It starred Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci and Ray Lieta. It runs for 146 minutes. So the film starts and it's 1955 and it introduces Henry Hill and it basically there's a voice over it's Henry's voice and he says ever since I've been a little kid all I've always wanted to be is a gangster so he becomes involved in criminal life and at one point in the film you see him in a rival taxi rank and he's breaking the windows and pouring petrol into these taxis he then lights some rag and throws him and the rag basically ignites and all the taxis blow up as he's running off the voice over to this part it says that one day the kids in the neighborhood help my mum carry her groceries all the way home and they did this out of respect. You then see Henry knock his own front door, his mum answers, and he's dressed in a brand new suit, and his mum's like, Henry, you look like a gangster. So, the film continues. It then shows you Henry and Joe Pesci's character. He plays Tommy DeVito, and they steal the truck. Robert De Niro's character is known as Jimmy the Gent. He's sort of like the one they look up to. He keeps an eye on them and stuff. Uh, there's one point in the film they Henry takes a rap for selling cigarettes and because he doesn't grass or say anything to the police, they let him go and as he walks out the courtroom he thinks that they're all going to be mad at him and they're all cheering and hugging him and one even says hey you lost your cherry and then it carries on so he starts working for Paulie Cesaro and Jimmy the Gent also working for him is Tommy DeVito um, one of the biggest jobs they pull off in the film is the Lufthansa vault hoist at the JFK International Airport stealing around six million in cash and jewellery and this is where it, it starts to go bad most of the people involved in the hoist end up getting killed and um, one the first one they kill he was supposed to get rid of the truck they used in the robbery and he ends up leaving it outside an apartment um, they then end up killing a maid man and this is like a big no no in the film this results in Tom, uh, Joe Pesci's character Tommy getting whacked as they say in the film um, all this happened in real life it's actually based on true events and Henry Hill was actually a real person and towards after Tommy gets whacked they go to prison for something and he Henry Hill gets involved in drugs and stuff and then as things go start to progress they get worse and worse he then gets arrested by the police and he's then looking at like a lot of jail time he's no longer protected he's sort of you know on his own so he then turns to being an informant and basically tells the police everything this ends up in a lot of people getting arrested and basically he has to go into the witness protection agency him and his family and from there you were uh, you see right at the very end he stood on this small doorstep picking up his paper 
and uh, he's like got to do daily life now get to work earn basic money and stuff eat basic foods there's no more high life no more robbing or anything and then the film goes off I rate this film it's one of my all time favourites it's a 10 out of 10 for me um, I remember the first time I watched it I thought it was absolutely brilliant what I've described is just a small part of the film there is a lot more to this film it's probably one of the best gangster films that have ma ever been made in my opinion I really highly recommend if you've not seen it to watch it and I hope you've enjoyed the episode apologies it took a while to do um, I was doing a bit of research and one thing and another um, so I've literally only just been able to do the recording so yes I will be back again tomorrow I hope you've all enjoyed and I will see you again soon <laughs>